everybody, welcome back to my channel, I'm Chloe here, and we're gonna be checking out the demo for Kiss Off Audition. This is a upcoming visual novel set to release in fall of 2022. The developer reached out, submitted um, you know, a request on my form to be able to check out the game, and it looked pretty interesting. I'm not sure if I entirely understand what the game is about, but that's why we're here today. It does take a minimum of two playthroughs to get through from uh, what I saw here on the forum, so if you guys really like this first episode, definitely let me know so that I can check it out um, again and get to the end of one full playthrough and get one complete um, ending here. The thing with, as you guys know, I have to keep my episodes limited to around 20-30 minutes usually, because uh, Premiere just decides that it wants to give up on life after that. Uh, so yeah, this is Vic. I guess he's the main character. He's very cute. Good morning to me. It really is a good morning. Could today be the day? I better get ready. Oh, absolutely work out. I actually used to work out at night to help me sleep better at night because I'm realizing <laughs> the older that I get, I might have undiagnosed ADHD and that's why I had insomnia when I was a child. Um, but yeah, I used to work out at night, but then it got to a point where I like to use my evenings and said to work on other things. So sometimes I will be working on videos. Other times I will be working on uh, things such as um, thing at the times I'll be working on writing other things uh, working on some other things in the background for the channel so I like to have my mornings just so that I can take care of myself and take care of my personal health and it kind of gives me like that little um boost of energy for the day so that's when I like to work out usually it used to be night and sometimes I will still work out at night if I wake up in the morning and I'm like, I am so tired. Lately with Kiwi too, I've been so tired in the mornings because he tends to wake me up usually around like 3.30 or 4. Last night it was 4 in the morning that he woke me up. Yeah, yeah, I gotta get my sweat on. I turn on my jams and do 50 push-ups, 80 crunches, and 45 jumping jacks. <sighs> what a great way to start the day. Wait, that, that would take me all of 20 minutes. That's not much of a workout. That would take me 20 minutes. Right? Okay, let's brush our teeth. I gotta look nice for her. Take a nice What's steamy up? shower. What's up, Mr. Handsome? Looking good, I better get ready. I love the character designs, and I like the backgrounds here. Let's check the text. Wonder if she texted me, better oh, check. Dope. She did, looks like Steffi sent me a couple texts last night after I went to sleep, I read them. Vic, I'm so excited to see your dorm room today. I've seen some really gross stuff before, so it'll take a lot to impress me. Oh god, maybe she shouldn't have said that. I'm not into gross stuff. Please don't associate me with being gross. How do you unsend a text? How do you unsend a text? Oh god. F, F. <laughs> Hi Vic, you're probably gonna see this text first since it's at the bottom. My phone sends some weird stuff automatically, so don't scroll up, please. I can't wait to see you tomorrow morning. Classic Steffi. Can't believe I met her a few weeks ago. We really headed off in Professor Calderson's chemistry class. That class is tough. We got a really, really important test tomorrow. So now she's coming over to my dome room for a study sesh. I wonder how she feels. Could it end up being more than that? I'm a little nervous. I better get ready. Make the bed. Kind of stuff you think I'm a slob. Looks great. Better get ready. Is somebody calling? Uh, my phone suddenly starts vibrating. I'm getting a phone call from X. Should I answer this? Okay. This is weird. Maybe it's important. Hello, Victor. Hello. Hello? What is this? The voice of the man on the line is weird. I have a important message for you. Do you? Uh, right. Yo, who is this? Oh, we've got some full voice acting in here. <laughs> I'm gonna dial star six Just nine on your ass. Yeah. Uh, today is your lucky day. Do I get a puppy? You've been selected to take part in a very, very, very special audition. Audition? Okay. Audition! Um, <laughs> I think you have the wrong Vic Powers, my guy. I'm not an actor. His name is Vic Powers. I love that. <laughs> Son of Austin Powers. That's okay. For this audition, all you have to be is yourself. Be yourself. In just a few seconds, be yourself. Your friend Steffi will arrive through that door. Okay. Huh? How do you know about that? Hey. Who is this? For real? You have one hour to get her to go out with you. What? <laughs> okay, I'm hanging up. Bye bye. Don't tell Steffi about this call. 
If you can't get her to go out with her, you'll never see her again. Wait, what? You I'm heard me. Counting on you, Vic. What? <laughs> but what, never see her again. Oh my god, there was super loud banging. My heart almost exploded. I really hope that's not a serial killer. Somebody hanging outside my door. It's... Who? It's just Steffi. Oh, sh Oh! So we have aliens in this world, and that's totally normal. She kind of hot, though. Damn. Damn. This girl... Okay, you know what this girl coming over to do this early in the morning? <sighs> Alrighty. Hey, dude! Vic, Vic, Vic. Whoa, I made it here alive. You'll never believe what happened to me. I- oh my um... god. Are you okay? You look like you saw a ghost or a space alien or something. Actually, something weird happened. <laughs> What's going on? Anybody follow you? See anybody weird? No, nope, nobody weird. Except kind of you right now. <laughs> Is everything okay? Man, I just had the scariest thing happen. For real? Oh, what was it? Cool. You can tell me, I promise. I trust me. I won't let you down. I love secrets. Okay, so I... I'm just about to tell... My throat gets tight. X said, don't tell Steffi. You'll never see her again. You know what? Steffi ain't the hottest girl I've seen in the character designs. I'm pretty sure we can get her back anyways. Steffi, we should get out of here. Oh You're God. in danger. Danger? You're not just trying to scare me or something, are you, Vic? No, this is real. This morning my phone started going off and I thought it might be you. But somebody, X, told me that I had to do something or that I'd never see you again. I think somebody might be out to get you. <laughs> Come on, Vic. You really that gullible, huh? That's so obviously <laughs> someone trying to scare you. Kind of cute that you fell for it so hard, though. And I just out of curiosity, was it the spooky... What was it the spooky stalker wanted you to do? I did totally overact. This has got to be a prank. Actually, whoever said it was said I needed to go out with... The whole room oh, starts shaking. Oh, no! Yeah! Steffi, stop screaming. What's that voice coming from? Oh, her head changes color when she's upset? <laughs> Sir? You are not very good at following directions. That's not a good look for your audition. Maybe cons... Consequence sequences will help you out a little bitty. Give Steffi a bud by a bud to the bio, right, Vicky Pooh? <laughs> Vic, it no. hurts. This is pretty violent. Oh my god. I'm go. She's turning to static, and then she's gone. Oh my gosh. Let's try this one more time. But uh, what if I don't want to? <laughs> this has got to be nightmare or something. What is, why does my head feel so fuzzy? What's happening to... Ooh. 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 I like that glitch. That is a very nice glitch effect. Okay, anyways. Oh. Okay, I, I killed her. I killed my friend because I was a stupid ass who just decided, you know what, was the worst that can happen. Like, honestly. Good morning to me. Could today be the day? What? Oh my god, no. And I can't use the skip? They make you start over if you do it wrong? That's boring. What's up? I can't oh, skip. Joke. I don't think the skip button works yet. Arturo, wait, Arturo. Oh, does this change depending on your playthrough? He's a foreign exchange student. He has a unique culture. I mean, in a few weeks ago, it seems like he's been. It hasn't. I really like him. We really hit it off in study sesh. Could it end up being more than that? Oh, Vic, you little bisexual disaster. Okay, we'll see how Arturo looks. Arturo is a hot boy name. Uh, Forget that. Mm. Why would I answer a call? Hello, Vic. Congratulations. You've one hour to convince him to go out with you. Okay, fine. This uh, is terrifying. Okay. Uh, okay, so let's see. It's... Okay. Okay. I, I like Greetings. this man. Hello, Vic. It is with great thanks and appreciation that I enter your home. It's no big hey, deal. Hey, I welcome Arturo into my room. What do you think? I hope he likes my room. I... 
Uh, Artur grimaces it's like he's in terrible pain. Artur, are you okay? What? I am well, Vic. What a strange, overpowering feeling. For the briefest of moments, I was overwhelmed by confusion. There's something not quite right about this. Do my windswept ramblings cohere? How is there something strange about this situation? Very strange. Huh? Everything's normal. Uh, no, what are you talking about? I mean, the X thing was pretty strange, but there's no way Arturo could know about that. I got no clue what you're talking about. It's just a normal study sesh with my new friend, Arturo. We've been hanging out for weeks, so why is today any different? Of course. It's true that we've forged a friendship these several days past. <laughs> Perhaps playful gusts whirl my mind about. It is well, the moment is past. Oh, he speaks like Starfire. I apologize if I frighten you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Starfire. Many thanks to you, my friend. I am sorry things have been done in such a strange manner. Give him a hug. Come here, Brady. Hey. Let's bring it in. Oh, you must not. Oh. Oh, he d oh. No, no. Oh, no. Are you okay? It is well. I was only caught off guard. I'm astonished that you tempted to brace me so. What a reckless maneuver. Oh, okay. I shall be all right. Please, I request distance. I will tend to my injuries. They are not life threatening. He didn't like that. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. I will. Seat myself here upon the ground, we may begin the our work. winds of change carry us on. This examination is of great importance to us both, and I have tarried far too long already. Diligence and responsibility are core tenets of the way of the Saturnine. Okay. Hmm. He starts studying. Okay. Oh no. The oh, other girl no. probably would have been more game to hook up with me. This man is repressed. Why do I always like the repressed ones? Is it because it's like a, this desire to to corrupt people. Okay. Oh no! Did that uh, wait wait did that work? What is it? Can I take your cloak? <laughs> uh, no, he doesn't like that. I'm so bad at dating oh, this you is must why not. I'm single. Oh no. What I, Michelle, but you I'm just, sorry. But, you, uh, Leave it. Such a grave disappointment. Oh, damn. Okay. Arturo, I... Oh, oh my god. I failed. I failed again. And then just as soon as it started... <gasps> Arturo, are you there? I can barely see you. I can see you quite clearly, Vic. This is so very frightening. My phone went off. Should I check it? I, I guess. Technical difficulties, what? please ignore and carry on. What? What? Huh? Ma'am? Okay, anyways, this is not good. It's getting really cold in here, it's just me. No, Vic, you are correct. The temperature of your room's dropped considerably. It feels like winter time. How can that be possible? It's like 90 degrees outside today. I don't understand. I'm totally pretty jealous of Arturo's cloak. He doesn't seem that cold at all. I'm gonna wrap myself up in a blanket. <sighs> Vic, I, I do not know what's happening. This has been such a strange day. First, a terrible spasm of the mind when I entered the living quarter. Now, terrible quakes, great darkness. What do you think is to blame? Gotta be a rational explanation. Hey, don't be worried. Maybe a transformer exploded uh... or something. Everybody probably is air conditioning on, you know? I bet the electrical grid just couldn't handle it properly. You don't think it's some malevolent force of darkness? I feel like he knows. I feel like he knows more than he's letting on. No way, there's definitely a logical explanation. Thank you, Vic. It is true that I am at times far too susceptible to flights of fancy. It is well and good to be with one who is so level of head and cool Many of mind. Many thanks to you, my friend. Thank you. Okay, yep, See. cool. Um, maybe I can really mm. save this. I wish that there was a timer, though, so that it would tell you, or maybe like an X number of decisions, um, so that it would tell you exactly how long you have left until this hour is up, because otherwise I don't know if it necessarily, like, works per se caperville gazorg this is president gazorg there were some there was a minor power surge no need to be alarmed please hey. stay in your dorms president gazorg says we're all good guess we gotta wait up the outage why does my head throb uh, so the pangs have returned uh -oh. think of something to put him at ease until the power comes back on um well, you can't turn on your white noise machine, so yeah, let's put on a candle. 
Why would you have candles in a dorm? What kind of dorm oh, allows candles, homie? Beauty. There's nothing like a light to banish the shadows, at least for a time. Of course, man, I got you. If you're gonna wait for the power to come back on, I wanna see your face, you know? Oh, I like that. Mm. I appreciate that, Vic. Your face is quite pleasant to look at as well. I give him a little grin. It's nice to chill here. A few minutes of silence go by. I like that I can just hang out with our tour and I be feel... quiet together. It feels warm. Wait a minute. No, I actually feel warm now. A warm gust. Cold has abated. You are no longer shivering, my friend. I guess not, but the candle can't be giving off that much heat. It does seem dubious. Could it be something else? Hey, you know what? <laughs> this tiny little fire between us, it almost feels like we're camping. Camping? What? what is that? Oh, you don't know? It's where you get like a tent and just go hang out in the wilderness. It's not called survival. I mean, kinda, but like some people just do it for How? fun. How strange. You're telling Very me. My family strange. tried to do that once. It didn't go well at all. But there was this really nice part where we all sat around a campfire and told each other spooky stories. That does sound rather enjoyable. Sure Perhaps thing. We try that now? I know very few tales of dread. Which one of hmm. us should tell the tale? Hmm. I'll tell a story? Okay. That helps. So I've got the tiny sliver of affection from that. Uh... Okay. I don't have any ideas, but I volunteered myself. Okay, what kind of story? Tell an inspiring story. Oh, this boy. This boy likes it when I'm inspirational. Okay, anyways, there was this, uh, right. What? There's this basketball player. Okay. He was the best basketball player in the world. He was so good he could fly like an eagle. One day he gets sucked out of his own world into this weird other one where nothing makes sense. Are you the basketball player, Vic? Is that what you're trying to tell us? He's got to oh. save this new world from aliens. Aliens, crazy, right? What a strange tale. Aliens are big and strong and scary and stuff, and they challenge him to a b-ball game. Is he victorious? He's so good at basketball that he's really kicking ass. But then he's got to make one last basket, but it's too far away to slam dunk. So he stretches his arms out super far? I don't know, that part doesn't really make sense. Anyway, yeah. Kelly totally wins a big game and saves a bunch of forest animals and shit. The a end. Vision of what an inspiring, rousing tale of victory in the face of overwhelming odds. I shudder to think of what it must be like to face an alien being. Wouldn't that be wild? Indeed. You're truly a master teller of Taylor's Victor. I do so admire tales of courage and heroics. And I think I understand the deeper meaning by the text. His arm, his body, it did not truly stretch. It is a metaphor, and possibility becomes possibility when one is fueled by uh... faith. Sure. Anyway, I'm glad you liked it. What should we do next? Time to swap storytellers, right? Vic, I must say that this is serving quite well as a distraction. It is wise for oh, you to suggest it. Although it may be dark, the shadows are slowly fading from my heart. Ooh. The lights came back on. <laughs> Oh, wow, what a crazy coincidence, huh? Hmm. Maybe something more. Something more. Maybe he's right. Maybe there's something more going on here. And I think there's also something go more going on between us. Is he a prince? Can we hook up with a prince? Uh... He seems a little stiff like he's guarding himself. It's been really hard to get him to open up fully. I feel like he has a hard time trusting people. But I'm trustworthy. I'm super trustworthy. Well, Vic, first and foremost, I must thank you for your hospitality. What a strange day it has been. <laughs> yeah, you're telling me. Darkness fell upon us. My head was racked with pain. And even the very ground shook under our feet. Not exactly the study slash I counted on. Indeed. It has been a most eventful hmm. hour. What more could happen in a single day? Well, did he just say an hour? Huh. Oh no, I failed. Hey Arturo, there's something I've been what wanting you to wish say. Of me? Ask of me. Uh, this... <laughs> I think you're really... Brave, you know? Oh, <laughs> you find me courageous. Sure I do. I mean, today has been like super freaky with the lights burning out and everything. And you being so brave helped me feel a little scared oh. too. How strange that you should say these Very things. Very strange. I've shown little else but fearfulness this entire day. You kept pushing through it. And even when you're scared of something, you never let fear hold you down for very long. Isn't that like the true meaning of bravery? Facing your fears? Vic, why, why do you say such things to me? Well, I was wondering, Please? Courtship? Yeah. Do you like boys? Do you like boys? A warm gust. It does fill me with a great warmth. I think I might also like to... No, no, huh? no. I didn't... This is not correct. I am lost in a middle whirlwind of confusion. This is also very unnatural. There is something wrong with this place, this very room. Sometimes I look upon you and feel affection, truly. But other times I look upon you and I feel I do not know you at all. 
Well, we only met a few weeks ago in class. Oh, oh we got the dang and rope and music playing in the background. Things are going bad fast. There's something very wrong here. I cannot trust you. I cannot even trust my own memory. And each time I feel this way, the pains in my uh. mind, they... Oh no. What? I'm gonna call 911, okay? Let's see if you can do better with anyone else. Huh. Arturo? He vanished. Oh no. Okay, okay. We're gonna try. We're gonna try harder. We're gonna try harder. <sighs> We're gonna try really, really, really hard. I can't. Oh, now I can skip. Oh, thank jeez. No, it won't let me skip. Damn it. <sighs> Sometimes, like, the skip button doesn't seem like it works. Because I'm, like, trying to click on it, and it's not really... Aw, oh, dope. Risk sent me a couple texts. Hello, Victor. I'll be arriving at your... If I'm going to lower myself to the position of assisting you, I won't be doing it in a hovel. Okay. I wonder how she feels. So she's... Oh, my gosh. I wish that I could skip. I cannot. Anyways, yeah, answer the phone. We already know what happens, but unfortunately, oh. I cannot skip. I have a uh, he just to okay, do whatever, do whatever, whatever, uh, whatever, uh, whatever, whatever, whatever. We've okay. done this before. To go out with you. I'm counting on you, Vic. Okay, let's see who this. Ooh. <laughs> oh, I got myself a waifu! Yes! <laughs> oh my god, she's hot! Oh yes, she's Hello, so Victor. hot! Oh my god, oh my god, I'm gonna lose my mind. Oh no. <laughs> okay, so you guys enter my room like she owns the place. Hmm, so these are your quarters, are they? Well, they aren't too egregious, although how you can live in such a closet is beyond me. Well, I think it's kind of cozy. Oh, really? Of course you do. Well, I've arrived. Let's get the formalities out of the way. Risk suddenly holds out her hand and looks at me expectantly. Well then, go on, don't be all shy about it. Is she married? That's not her ring finger. Kiss her hand. This feels uh... weird, but it just seems to be what she's asking for. Kiss I give it a little smooch. Yes, yes, very good. She liked that. She's confusing. Let's carry on, shall we? I have much more important things to attend to than you. I came here for a reason. And that reason is... The uh, reason is... Shut up. Huh? I said shut up. Let me think. Ma'am? I'm <laughs> afraid. Victor, tell me everything you huh? know about the situation. Scenario, day, event. Do you need more synonyms? Do words have meaning to you? We're both in my room. Where do we- where we both go to school together, and I met you a few weeks ago. We've been talking and hanging out a lot. Why did I come over? Because you were going to tutor me for a chemistry test, don't you remember? Yes. That's a problem. I do remember. But everything about that also seems perfectly stupid. The things I remember about myself are in conflict with other things I know about myself, and frankly, it's very difficult to focus on those contradictions without feeling ill. Someone has tampered with my memory. <laughs> what? <laughs> are you feeling okay? I brought you a chili dog, universe. almighty universe. Am I supposed to believe that really happened? With an Augless, I'm gonna try to fix this. What? Girl, what? What's going on here? Why is your hand so weird? Uh... What are you doing? Ugh, one moment I'm gonna augment my brain. That Vic okay. It's simple enough. All I have to do is pinpoint select neurons and categorize them by age. If they haven't spent the requisite amount of time in my brain, they're likely fake memories. Rather fascinating, really. I didn't think this sort of memory in plant tech was so far advanced. All right, nearly got it. Ugh. Whoa, risk. What did you do? <sighs> Utter perfection. I was correct, as always. My room was filled with false memories, and I've separated them from my real ones. So simply done, too. Whoever implanted my mind with false neurons was a sloppy dolt. Okay, whoa. False memories augmenting neurons? What the hell does any of that mean? I just want to get an A on my chemistry file, <sighs> man. I suppose I could explain everything, but why waste a moment of my precious breath? Just look out the window. Open the window. Okay. Oh, we're floating in space. What? Hmm. Oh. 
some sort of spacefaring vessel. I sensed a minor shift in my gravitational equilibrium, so that confirms my second theory. I'm not on con anymore. Yes, my home. So, my dear Victor, that only leaves me one an final unanswered question. Huh. Whoa. You. Oh my god. She's Explain strong. Explain yourself. Who are you, really? So help me, universe. If you have anything to do with this, your death will be slow and painful. I'm Vic, right? You know me, or at least for false memories of you? I'm so confused. And I thought I knew you too, kinda. Oh dear, dear. You're either completely hopeless or an exceptionally fine performer. I brushed my shirt off, rude. I should, really shouldn't waste any undue exertion. Tell me everything you know. Have you experienced anything else that was out of the ordinary? Curious. And who in the universe is X? Should I mention that? I'm sure you're gathering the strength of your one brain molecule, but I must know, what did this X person say to you? They wanted me to... Victor, right, sorry, X wanted me to ask you out, like on a date. <laughs> date me? Oh, hey. I don't see how that's funny. Dating an Oculus, can you imagine? A well-proportioned Oculus, to be sure, but still. Ah, uh, I really should have expected this, frankly. So you really had nothing to do with this. I didn't, I swear. Funnily enough, I believe you. You seem like the sort of person who couldn't lie to save his life. So, unfortunately, folks, we've been recording for a while, but if you want me to check out more of this, this is interesting. I'm wondering if she will trigger you finding out more about the world, or if it's just that we've been through so many repeated playthroughs that eventually something gets triggered. Um, I would definitely be down to check uh, out more of this demo if you guys want me to, so if you like this video, please leave a like, it really does help the channel out. Also consider subscribing, when you subscribe, be sure to the notifications bell so you get updates on when I upload future episodes. Without further ado, thank you all so, so, so much for watching. Bye! I'd like to give a very special shout out and thanks to my patrons, Deep Dive Dylan, D. Roberts, Brian White, Caleb Putnam, Robin Harper, Bob Conway, Cody Webb, Manika Sama, and Gus Fuss. Thank you all so much.